Hey fourth graders, um, I wanted to show you a game that I made up and I need help from you to finish it. But my cat is trying to steal the game. Okay, so the game I call Spiraling Fifths because it is based on the one to five relationship, which is the most important relationship in the scale. It sounds like this. Like the beginning of Star Wars, right? So this also sounds like the beginning of Star Wars, even though it's two different notes, it's still a fifth. Right? So I've got, these are things you need for the game. You need the game board, which right now doesn't look that great because this is uh, the rough draft. For level one, you need a glockenspiel. You need these cards and you need at least two players. So I have a piece for me and a piece for my worthy opponent, that bear. Okay, so um, you get to pick where you want to start on the circle of fifths. So you just pick a note or a key signature, really. So I'll pick A, and the bear here picks E flat. And um, I'll let the bear spin first, so go ahead and spin bear. Guys, don't look, the bear's gonna spin. Yeah, the bear totally spun, that wasn't me at all. So the bear spun F. So the first thing the bear has to do is for one, to move one square, I mean one circle, the bear can tell me how many flats or sharps are in the key of where he spun, F. And that's going to be really easy because you can just count. C has no sharps and flats. This side is flats, this side is sharps. The key of F has one flat. So the bear could just say, one flat, and then he'd be done. He could move one spot. But if he wants to get two spots, he needs to play an F major triad. That means he needs to play the scale degrees 1, 3, and 5 in the key of F. So, to do that, you can take the stick. You take the stick when it's your turn. F. You can count on your fingers, actually, if it makes it easier. Put that down. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Whoa. So one, three, and five would be these three. So what were those notes? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. F, A, C. And there's only one flat in F, and that's B flat, so the bear doesn't have to worry about that. He can just play F, A, C. And now the bear can move two spots. You're trying to go clockwise in one direction until you get back to your home spot. And when you get back to your home spot, that's when you can move out. Okay? So let's pretend for the sake of the bear just got to move two places. Let's say the next time I can only move one place because I didn't play the triad. Um, the next time the bear moves two places, I move two places. We keep playing until the bear is here. Maybe I'm over here by then. Um, maybe. Now, if the bear, he's back at his home place. Now he gets to, if he gets this right, he gets to hop out. Okay, so once you get back to your own home place, you ask that one. You say, how many flats are there in E flat, bear? E flat major, come on, bear. Come on. He says three flats, and he is correct. So he gets to move out here. Um... This is V, note values. So that means I'm gonna ask the bear a note value question. I'm gonna say, hey bear, you ready for this? I don't know if I'm ready. In four, four time, what is a quarter note worth? And I can show him the card, but I'm gonna keep my thumb over the answer. A quarter note is worth one beat in four, four time. So let's say the bear says, yeah, yeah, it's worth one beat. He gets to move there. Okay, I forgot where I was. I think I was over at A or something. Um, so let's say I get mine wrong. They ask me what note value is. Note values. The bear asks me, in 4-4 four, four time, what is a whole note worth? And maybe I say eight. Is that right? Ah, uh, no, it's four. Oh, okay. So that means I have to stay here because I got it wrong. 
But the bear gets to move forward to here because he got it right. All right, now it's the bear's turn. He's got to answer the R question. That's note reading. But guess what? At the beginning of the game, we all got a challenge card. Wah! And um, I think that I, I think the bear's going to beat me. So next time it's the bear's turn, I'm going to say, I challenge you, bear. Challenge card. I threw down my challenge card. Let's flip it over. While planking. Oh my gosh. So that means the bear's on this note reading question. He's got to answer this note reading question while he's planking. Are you ready, bear? Now he's planking, you guys. So I'm going to say note reading question. What note is this? The bear looks from his planking position. What note is it, bear? Oh, he knows. It's an F. Is he right? Yeah, he's right. That's okay. It looks like the bear might win it, but it's okay because I'm not a sore loser. All right. So uh, let's say I get my note value right the next time. Uh, in 4-4 four, four time, what is a half note worth? Let's say I know it, two. Two beats. So I get to move to here. Oh, but the bear is on the last one. This is the winning spot. If the bear gets this right, he moves on. He's done. He, he wins. So um, maybe I'll challenge him again if I have another challenge card. Or maybe I won't because um, my next challenge card is while standing on your right foot. And um, I don't think he can stand on his right foot. No, I don't think so. Okay, so I'll just not challenge him. I'll let him do it. With no challenge. So here, the bear gets note singing. You gotta sing an A up to an E. Now, I don't expect you to know an A up to an E just in your head, so you get to play it first. Now the bear can sing that on any syllable he likes. So he might sing. Bum, bum. You gotta put the stick down and then sing it. Bum, bum. Okay, bear, now it's your turn. Sing it. Sing bear. Okay, now the bear forfeits because um, he won't sing. So I guess I win. Hooray for me! Anyway, here is what I need your help with. I don't know how to turn my camera around. Oh well, I'll just spin it. Okay, so what I need you guys to help out with is I need you to come up with more challenge cards because I only came up with three challenge cards and I can't think of any more. Um, while standing on left foot, while planking, and while standing on right foot. Obviously, I'm running out of creativity. So I need you guys to come up with some challenge cards that somebody could do while they were either reading a note, answering a question about note value, or singing an interval. Um, and I also need to know what we can use as um, the pieces in this game. Because I stole these pieces from a different game. Um, <laughs> and I think we should do something fun. So I want to know what are your ideas for challenge cards for this game? And what are your ideas for making the game board look better? Different pieces, um, ideas for the cards, um, ideas other than an old Amazon box for the board. Um, and then I can make it this summer and when we go back to school, we can play this game as fifth graders and it'll be super exciting because that's just level one. Level two is way harder um, because here we have the major scales, but in level three, you use the minor scales with those minor triads and um, things get tougher. Like it's not always in treble clef, but level one is just like that. Pretty simple. And I can't wait to play it with you guys. I miss you guys. Bye.